Good morning, vlog family. Guess what time it is? 5.13 a.m. It is so early. We're on our way out for starting our adventure. Going to, we're going to Atlanta for today and we're gonna go to the Georgia Aquarium and we're gonna go to a Cubs game tonight. And then tomorrow morning we head out and we are going to Alabama to visit family. And it's super exciting. We're gonna be there for a long weekend. And yeah, I just, it's early. <laughs> so I'm gonna get a little more sleep and catch up with you guys later. All right, about five hours later and we just got into the parking garage to, for the aquarium. I am sore from sitting so long. <laughs> Which way are we going? Uh, let's follow the crowd. Okay, yeah. Cool. We'll be crowd followers. For once. Does it happen to anyone else when you're driving on the interstate and like you happen to follow the same car for a long time that you just kind of become like friends with that car? I had that happen a couple of times. Like they become like your traveling buddy. And I was driving and I was following this same car for a while and all of a sudden the car exited and I went, bye traveling buddy. Mm. And then when we were stuck in traffic, there was this other, it was like this cute little box blue car and it had like a ballerina slipper on it. Here we go, yeah, aquarium this way. I gotcha, sorry, I Here spelled french fries <laughs> that way. <laughs> Life. And I followed this car in traffic, this little ballerina slip, slipper blue car in traffic for like 30 minutes and it was just them and me and we got to be pretty good little traveling buddies. And then like when other cars would merge between us, I would be like defensive and be like, hey, watch out, that's my traveling buddy. Like, it was, yeah. And does, does that happen to anybody else? Is that just me that I become like attached to the cars I'm driving next to? I don't know. Aquarium time. What's the first thing you do when you go to an aquarium? Go to the bathroom.
right, now we're heading back to the car to go get some lunch because we packed our lunches because we're not going to pay ridiculous prices in the aquarium for lunch. So that's where we're headed now. And we've got our hands stamped so we can get back in. It's been like two hours that we've yeah. been in there. And so far it's been really, really cool. Yes, it has. We just went and saw the dolphin show, but I couldn't film any of it because they said there was no photos, videos, anything. So that was really cool. And we got to see uh, the whale sharks get fed and so the sea turtles and all the other stuff that you guys just saw. But yeah. it's really cool so far. Yeah. Good stuff. We're finishing up our lunch. We had a wide selection of delicious goodies. And Dan is currently working out dinner plans because we found out this morning that a handful of our friends from that he goes to school with are actually going to be at the baseball game as well. So we're all planning on meeting up so we can have dinner together before the game. So that's what he's working on. But then we're getting ready to jump back in and go explore and look at some more fish here in just a second. We just got to the hotel. We spent about five hours at the aquarium. It was a ton of fun, but we were both exhausted, so we are going to take a nap. But we just got here, and look what is on the bed. They made a little towel sculpture, and there's mints, and there's a cute little key, key ring. Like, how adorable is that? That is so cute, and then a little note thing. I love that so much. But what what is this like? Like a cat stretching? Is that what it's supposed to be? Uh cat or a trunkless elephant that's bowing down in homage to the television. Um, which I'm going for the cat. I think the cat is probably what they were going for. Yes. Too. <laughs> love it. Yeah. 
Yes. Ah. Uh. Inning one is done. I think we have pretty amazing seats. Uh, our friends are over there. There you go. Nice, nice, nice. Once again, getting ready to head back on the road. I'll actually scooch over so Dan can be in the clip this time. I always end up cutting your head off or something when I try to like angle us both in the car. You sound like a French queen. <laughs> off with his head. <laughs> We're just getting ready to leave Atlanta to head to Alabama and not nearly as early as yesterday. I'm actually awake. I've had coffee in me. I've had breakfast. I've had a shower. It's, it's much better today than it was yesterday. So, getting ready to head off, and in a couple hours we will be with family. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. This is so much fun. Oh, I didn't do it. How's your tail? Is it wagging appropriately? Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Good morning. I realized I actually did not vlog really anything yesterday. We got to our family's house and we just hung out and it was wonderful and I just didn't even think about pulling out my camera. So I'm going to try to do better about that today. One of the ways that you know for certain you are in Alabama is when you see this guy on a billboard. He's actually everywhere. Like without without exaggerating, the first time when we first came into Alabama, we saw him within like a minute, and then within one mile, I saw four billboards of him, and easily saw twenty by the time we actually got to our destination. But he's just—it's everywhere. It's really—it's kind of like a meme in Alabama, and it's just like you can, if you go on a road trip, you can just count how many of these Alexander Shunara billboards you see. This is the puzzle we're working on, trying to put together that. And it's proving very difficult because all of the cats look exactly the same. What are you doing? Trying to get the perfectionist is what I'm doing. She's trying to get you out of the chair. Did he not score a touchdown? Yeah, there he scored a touchdown. He did, like the Green Bay Packers did, but... Yeah, but the other guys did it this time. The Green Bay Packers. I heard you say that they did. Yes. The Green Bay Packers. Yes, that was before. This is now. He almost didn't catch it, but he juggled the ball and finally caught it. Let's see what it can do next. Dan and Ruben are watching Green Bay Packer highlights, and goes. Dan is teaching watch, Ruben the ball, about the Green Bay Packers. It's very fun. Yes, when they jump into the crowd like that, that's called a Lambo leap. Why do they need have to? Well, he doesn't have to. That's the, their way of celebrating, scoring a touchdown. Because the field is called Lambo Field, named after their first coach. And when they score a touchdown, they celebrate by jumping, leaping into the crowd, and they call it the Lambo leap. Woo! Come on, 
I'm my own team. I see. You can be your own team. That's okay. Whoa. It's slow motion. <laughs> oh. so, I'm running along the road. Along the bases. Oh, yes. Ready? Oh, oh, Ready? Oh, 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 oh. Get out of here. Hungry horse, hey, hand in a hat, hooray, hooray. Big eye, little eye, itchy body, itchy, so am I. There we go. What a lovely bunch. Hey, all right. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hold up your thumbs. Here. Give it a big thumbs up <laughs> and subscribe. Yes, do that. <laughs> <laughs> and leave a comment. <laughs> leave a comment. <laughs> leave a comment telling me what you thought of this week's video. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next week.